Hello, Sean. How are you? We have our wonderful uh, players here. We should we should ask. I know that it's part of the um, that it is part of your kind of um, curriculum at school. How many of you are familiar with the voice of men before you, you got involved in, in in the play? I'll step here so we can see everybody a little bit. Uh, I've heard it once, but I, that's it. Ah, okay. I heard. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We all have heard it before. <laughs> but I was saying to Sean and Sharon earlier on, there's sometimes like some, some books you have to read in school are, are just sort of homework and they're not enjoyable and others kind of strike a chord. I don't know have, if you guys have found very quickly that, that this, you, you made up your mind about this, whether it was something that, that hit, a, hit, hit kind of, you felt, you, you, you believed, or I don't know if, if any of you don't believe it still. <laughs> but uh, did, it, did it kind of connect with you early on? Yeah. yeah. Right. And why would you think that is? Here's a book, a novella from 1937. It's about the Great Depression. You've got, you know, George and Lenny, migrant workers, they're heading off around trying to find work. You would think there isn't necessarily a huge parallel between your lives and, and their lives. And yet it does keep on kind of keeping on with people. They keep reading it. They keep making movies out of it. I mean, why do you think that is? What, what do you think it is about the, the work that, that kind of connects with people still? It's just such a great, like, interesting story. Like, it's got the really contrasting character. It's got, like... Um, Dougie playing a, a big beefy angry curly and then we've got typecast typecast again beefy kind of uh, yeah. oh, it's a child in a man's body yeah a child in a man's body but yeah, yeah it's just it's such like a big man like <laughs> small man and a big man's body so it's just right. nice. I, I just think it shows that I think it's why it's still relevant today is because it shows how people from different parts of society are treated like Lenny has disabilities. Right. It's clearly shown how he was treated back then. It's kind of similar to how people are treated here in our society today. And how Crooks is treated as well. You can also see a similarity with how people of colour are treated in society today. So that's why I think it's really relevant. And that's why I think people still connect to it. And so when it came to, I know that, that, that uh, Sean had sort of adapted the novella back in September. I mean, when it came to getting ready for it, I don't know whether you went off looking at trying to find, you know, there are films available out there online. I know that John Malkovich and Gary Sinise's 1993 version, but probably the best one is that 1939 version with Burgess Meredith and Lon Chaney, which is very hard to find. But what would you guys have done to get ready? I don't know whether you felt it's all there in the script and it's in the book, or did you find you had to go and try and figure out where this world was or, you know, try and find out more beyond the book? Yeah. 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 All ah, right. Yeah. And did you find it helpful, kind of going yeah, into that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now, when it comes to, I know that that the, the CAA players have been, you know, they've been busy now with uh, Twelve Angry Men last year and all that. When it comes to the acting side of it, is it something that you all, I don't know whether you consider it now as something you could do in the future, or whether it's just for now, it's just something that you enjoy. I don't know whether it's uh, already possibility of a career. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Personally, I almost don't want to go into some kind of theatre or filming, so right. I don't want to do that. Thing. I'd probably do it in university as yeah. like a hobby or something. Yeah, probably yeah. do like a player society or something. Mm. Right. Could, just a few auditions. Drama club. It's just yeah. so much fun to do, so I think no, no, we can like, take it into our current lives. So. And of course, celebrities are the most important people in the world, so yeah, that helps exactly. too. Yeah. So we, have to, we do look to them for our guidance and for all our, our, our philosophy and all that is now part of their world. So would it be, I don't know if it's something that, that you know, I know it's March, it's, it's going to be, it's a little bit of a distance away. You've been rehearsing well, you've been, you know, you're going to know it well when it comes to the actual run. Would you get, would you be kind of nervous about it or would you, would you feel that, that this is all kind of happening? It's all right, we're all in the moment? Or? It's, all, it's all coming so fast. Yeah, we can just hammer it there. <laughs> Got a couple of new motions, new extremes, and finding, being able to like put myself in the head of George because he's always looking for this dream, but he never gets it. And uh, I don't know, for me, that's what makes it the interesting part of the play. But for me, it's also the hardest thing is to channel the emotions of somebody who is searching for something that is like so. Like, not. Yeah. You know, and even today, we were bringing costumes today, so it's all becoming like so yeah, real. Like, so. Like, so, well, I know. Approaching. I know. Just having. I was having a whiskey with Sean and, and with Sharon just in the <laughs> staff room, and they, they they did say that one of the great things about it is that it's not a happy ending kind of story, which I think is important in life. That you know, I remember as a kid, I saw one flow of the cuckoo's nest, and I had a stutter afterwards because you know the guy, the main guy, doesn't win. The girl doesn't win the day. 
I mean, that, that's obviously quite a, a, a wonderful element to a story to not always have it that yeah. everything works out because that's the way life is sometimes. I mean, did, were you surprised by that? Did that kind of catch you unawares that, that you're building and building with these characters and you sort of feel, of course they're going to be okay, of course yeah, everything's yeah. going to be all right. When I watched it and I saw the scene where I get uh, shot in the back of the head, it just came so suddenly. Spoiler alert. It just came so suddenly. I was so shocked and I actually became emotional. Yeah. 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 It is though, it is yeah. such a famous scene. Like even I never read, never seen um, My Cement Men before, but I definitely knew that scene. Yeah, like, but, uh, yeah no, it's, it's a great yeah. example of happy ever after it doesn't always happen. Like, I don't know about you yeah. guys, but like I cried when I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to get in my head to the character and then it got to the last bit. And it was oh, so hard. Yeah. It's up to you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and I should ask, with, with Sean and, and, and Sharon, do, do you find that there's, um, you know, that when it comes to choosing productions like this, or I should say, you know, books like this, that there is a, a, a kind of, I guess, a need to make sure that it, there's a relevance to it, or there's a, I suppose, classic works always will be relevant, but when it, why choose this particular one? Um, I think simply because it's a good story. It's an interesting story. Uh, it is on the junior search curriculum which is obviously a benefit from ticket sales I suppose mm. you know people will you know get a chance to actually see a dramatization of the novella but that's not really the reason why we chose it I think it's just because we look for stories that we think we would enjoy going to see um, that have strong characters uh, and as the guy said that it doesn't have that happy ending you know that mm. it has that realistic ending of what things don't work out and as we were talking about earlier that sometimes those stories stay with you more than the happily ever after endings right um, and I think the guys who said like you know their characters are so strong and every the, the guys are bring they bring such life to them so I think it's just going to be a very well acted yeah. and well produced Play, Better be. <laughs> I just say, you know, the message there is that your dreams will not come true. That's the main thrust you've got to get from this. I'm supposed to be a rock star. Sean was going to be a dancer. Sean was going to be a magician, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, we wish you luck. March 22nd to the 24th, isn't it? I think it's 20th to the 22nd. See the way. That's memory mine is fantastic. Like that, I just had the date. Friday, half seven in the Castle and Theatre. There you go. And it's only five euro ticket, five which is great. Yeah. yeah so very reasonable stuff. yeah so we wish you luck and we'll keep up we'll catch you on the first night and, and uh, try and look you know in some way interested when you're up on stage because it will be <laughs> just it'll come across in the photographs if you're reading a magazine or if you're looking away or but yeah well done guys and we look forward to uh, look forward to the run cheers right. thank, thank you, you. Thank you. <laughs>